Hi folks, HR Funk here, out on the range again today to bring you a new Law Enforcement Qualification Course Challenge video. Now in case you're not already aware, what I'm attempting to do is to shoot a Law Enforcement Firearms Qualification Course from each of the 50 states. To date, I've fired courses from seven different states, and today's course will make number eight. I always, at the beginning of the video, ask for any of you who have access to your state's Law Enforcement Firearms Qualification Courses if you can get me a copy of those, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you can get me a target or two, let me know in the comments section and I'll let you know where to mail those to. Also, if you happen to be from a state that does not have a statewide mandated law enforcement qualification firearms course, let me know that as well. And if you can get me a local course, I'll use that as a representative of that state. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at today's Law Enforcement Qualification course. Today's course comes to us from the Garden State of New Jersey, and this is the New Jersey Law Enforcement Handgun Qualification course. The New Jersey course is a 50 round course of fire divided into 10 different phases. It starts out at a distance of 25 yards from the target and through the progression of phases, moves up as close as a distance of one yard from the target. In order to pass and be considered qualified under the New Jersey standard, a shooter has to achieve a score of 80%, which means 40 of the 50 rounds fired have to be inside the white area of the cue target that I have back here on the target board. Each phase of the New Jersey course is timed, and once again, I'll be keeping track of the time limits with my shot timer, and also, just as before, I'll be explaining each drill and exercise I do in each different phase of the course before I shoot it so you know what you're about to see. The challenger for today's video is my CZ-75 9mm pistol. This is the updated Omega version of the CZ-75, but other than the updated trigger action, this is essentially the exact same pistol that's been manufactured for nearly 45 years. Hard to believe 1975 was that long ago, folks. In any regard, I'm going to get the CZ-75 loaded up. I'm going to get my timer set to the right time, and we'll kick things off in just a moment. And here we go, folks. As I said a moment ago, the first phase of this New Jersey handgun qualification course begins at a distance of 25 yards from the target. And it starts with the shooter standing two yards behind a position of cover. On a signal to begin, the shooter moves up, takes a position of cover, and from the strong hand side of that cover, fires four rounds into the target within a time limit of 30 seconds. At that point, the shooter stops, and the course description specifies the shooter has to decock the firearm if it's able to be decocked. The shooter then takes a position of cover crouched over top of the barricade, and on the second signal to fire, the shooter has 25 seconds to fire three shots from that position into the target. Time then stops again, and the shooter takes a position of cover on the left side, or support hand side, of cover, and when the signal to fire comes again, the shooter again has 25 seconds to fire three rounds from that position. Once that's all done, that ends the first phase, and we'll move on to the next phase after that.
And there we go, folks. All 10 shots from the 25 yard phase are in the proper area on the target. Looks like two shots tried to go through the same hole there. Now we'll move on to the next phase and see how things go there. And I'm now set up and ready for phase two of this New Jersey law enforcement handgun qualification course. In this phase, on the signal to fire, the shooter has a 25 second time limit to draw and fire three rounds into the body of the target from a standing position. After the third round, the shooter has to transition to a kneeling position, perform a mandatory reload, and then fire four rounds from that kneeling position, all within the specified time limit of 25 seconds. The next phase of the New Jersey qualification course is also fired at a distance of 15 yards from the target. This time on the signal to fire, the shooter has to draw and fire three rounds into the body of the target in a time limit of five seconds. And I'm now up to the 10 yard line for phase four of this course. In this phase, the shooter starts with the pistol in a ready position. On the signal to fire, the shooter has three seconds to fire two shots into the body. The drill is repeated one time, so I'll fire a total of four shots in this phase. Also, I don't think I've mentioned it to this point, but each time I fire the CZ-75 in each one of these phases, the first shot that I fire is double action. So I'm firing the double action trigger pull, then transitioning to the single action for each shot after that. And I've now moved up to seven yards for phase five. In phase five, the shooter starts with the firearm secured in the holster. On the signal to fire, the shooter has to draw and fire three shots into the body in a time limit of four seconds. Stage six of the New Jersey handgun qualification course is also fired from a distance of seven yards from the target. In this phase, on the signal to fire, the shooter has to draw, fire three rounds into the target, then perform a mandatory reload and fire three more rounds into the target in a time limit of 15 seconds. Phase seven of the course is also fired from the seven yard line. In this exercise, the shooter begins with the firearm secured in the holster. On the signal to fire, the shooter has four seconds to draw and fire three rounds into the body of the target.
For phase eight of the New Jersey handgun qualification course, I've moved up to the five yard line. This drill begins with the firearm secured in the holster. According to the course description, the shooter's left hand can be occupied with a magazine, ID, or some other object. I guess I'll use my handcuffs because, well, they're handy. And on the signal to fire, the shooter has to draw and strong hand only fire two shots into the target in a time limit of four seconds. This drill is repeated, so at the end, I will have fired four rounds before I move on to phase nine of this qualification course. And as you might have guessed, Phase 9 of this course is very similar to Phase 8, except this time I'm going to be shooting with my left hand only. In this phase, the shooter starts out with the pistol already in the left hand, and on the signal to fire, the shooter now has a time limit of 3 seconds to fire 2 rounds into the body of the target. So 1 second of the time limit is taken away because the shooter does not have to draw. They start with the firearm in their hand. This drill is also repeated, so at the end I will have again fired a total of 4 rounds. And I've arrived at the 10th and final phase of this New Jersey Law Enforcement Handgun Qualification course. This phase begins with the firearm secured in the holster at a distance of one yard from the target. On the signal to fire, the shooter has to draw, assume a close quarter retention position, and fire two shots into the body of the target in a time limit of two seconds. The drill is repeated one time, so at the end I will have fired four rounds in this 10th phase. And it's time for the tail of the target, folks. And there's not much I can say. That's 50 rounds down range, 50 rounds all in the proper scoring area of the target, and 50 rounds all fired within their respective time limits. Now, New Jersey does not have any special qualification categories like sharpshooter or expert or anything like that. This is another one of those states where, at the end, the shooter is either qualified or not, depending upon whether or not they met the qualification standard. Now this was an interesting course and there were different things that were tested. In fact, this course tested a lot of different skills on the part of the shooter. There was ambidextrous shooting, there was shooting from cover, there was long range shooting, there were reloading drills, all different things fired throughout the course of this qualification. Now keep in mind, this is the eighth state qualification course that I fired. When I complete my first 10, I'm going to go back evaluate all 10, and then select what I think is the best qualification course out of that group of 10. And then each time I complete 10 more state qualification course courses, I am going to pick what I think is the best from each of those group of 10 states, with the idea that at the end, I'm going to select what I think is the best law enforcement firearms qualification course in the country. Also, just for fun, out of each group of 10 courses that I fire, I'm going to go back and pick what was my favorite firearm for each group of 10 courses that I fired. 
The firearm is going to be a little bit more subjective. I'm going to have some fun with that, but I am going to try to be very objective in choosing which course I think is the best. So that's the video for today, folks. I think my CZ-75 acquitted itself pretty well today. This is the first time I've shot this pistol in a while, and I always kind of forget what a great shooting handgun this is. It really does shoot well, as you can see from the accuracy that it demonstrates, and also just the extremely good pointability and the feel of this pistol in the hand is tremendous. In any regard, if you have any questions or comments about today's video, be sure you send those to me as always. And until next time, good shooting. Bye-bye.